To thee we come, O Lord our God. in this holy sacrifice and now please make an examination of your conscience having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness I ask that you please recite with me the first act of confession. I confess to the Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me, and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Holy Trinity, Triune God, our hearts are restless until they find rest in you. Turn our wanderings into a pilgrimage, drawing us ever closer to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, living and reigning as one God forever and ever. Let us pray. Almighty God and most gracious Father, you gave us parents for the rearing of each new generation and the fulfillment of your purposes here on earth. You poured into their hearts the graces of faith, love, and sacrifice. And so on this day dedicated to the honor of our fathers, we ask you to bless all the fathers of our congregation, empower them to lovingly fulfill the obligations that you have set before them as they look to the example of Saint Joseph. We also pray this day, dear Lord, to hear the prayers for the repose of the souls of all faithful departed fathers that they might find ever resting grace in you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On this, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we take the first reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth, while as yet the earth and the fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the water should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. The response for today is, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Lord, 
The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praise Praise Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
Oh, let the Son of God enfold you with his spirit and his love. These words are taken from the hymn to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, as we gather this day in the house of the Lord. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity. One God in three divine and separate persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We also gather this day, on this Father's Day, to pause, reflect, and thank our Heavenly Father for the blessings of our fathers and for fatherhood. On this Father's Day, I pray that our Heavenly Father, who has made each one of us in his own image and likeness, may touch each of us. But it is not only my prayer, but it is also to be your prayer and your desire in seeking the Lord. On this beautiful day, God is among us, found not only in this church, not only in his creation, but most importantly within our hearts. On this Father's Day, we remember our fathers, a lot of memories. I recently had a wonderful conversation with a beautiful person from our parish, and in conversation we shared with each other stories about our fathers, which when we told each other our stories, both of us spoke in loving, but yet exciting thoughts about them. I hope that today, if you can, hug your father and call upon the Lord to bless those who are no longer with us here on earth. I guarantee that a simple hug and a simple thank thankfulness will be sufficient unto our fathers. And if your fathers have been taken by the Lord, and if you are able, Take a moment to pray at his grave site and remember that he gave much to each of us. On this Father's Day, even if you can remember but for a moment, share thoughts of your dad. As a boy, maybe the time that your dad took you fishing for the first time or your first Red Sox game, which I remember. Or as a girl, that dad was rock steady in security and love and protection. On this Father's Day, we think of St. Joseph, one of the least known in the New Testament, who represented that rock steady love and devotion placing his family before himself. On this Trinity Sunday, we think of God the Father as the creator of all things. So what is God the Father like in attributes? From Holy Scripture, we find but a few attributes. God the Father is holy. God the Father is righteous. God the Father is loving. God the Father is good. God the Father is wise. God the Father is forgiving. You know, over the millenniums, man strove to understand who God was beside the, the classic I am that I am that he revealed unto Moses. But we read in Holy Scripture that when the time had come, God sent his Son into the world. 
my dear brothers and sisters, to know God is to know His only begotten Son. I think one of my most favorite of all scripture passages is found in the Gospel of John as Jesus and his first chosen gathered at the Last Supper. During the course of that evening, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus, turning to him, said, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you for such a long time, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works, the miracles themselves. My brothers and sisters, the fact remains is that we are given all the tools by which we may know our salvation and also to know the living God. And so on this Trinity Sunday, on this Father's Day, we acknowledge that God the Father is the creator of all things. God the Son, who being one with the Father, gave us a code of spiritual and moral teachings. And God the Holy Spirit, who as promised by Jesus, came to help, to sanctify, to make us holy, and in turn to edify the Church of Believers. There is no doubt. Let us understand that after Jesus ascended into heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to the Church. And believe me when I say to you, whether or not you acknowledge it, whether or not you believe it, the fact remains that Jesus spoke the truth, that the Holy Spirit will be at work in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. in 
believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. distinction. In confessing the true and eternal Godhead, 
We adore the distinction of persons, oneness in being, and equality in majesty. And so therefore on this day, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God, Father, and Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord, especially the fathers. And all your presence, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God. We ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do these things, do them in remembrance of me.
Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, especially all our fathers who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following divine example, we say with confidence, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is Peter and Paul is also Andrew and all the saints grant us peace in our day supported by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ your son and our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art God forever and ever of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and hallowing and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it 
to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master, awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will, May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord,
grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The Lord be with you. And let us pray, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and source of the Spirit, you are the creator of all that exists and the originator of all that is good. You loved us in Christ even before the world was formed. Grant that through this Holy Eucharist our lives may be a gift that we return back unto you from our first beginning through baptism in your holy name and to our final goal through Christ Jesus our Lord. <coughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grateful hearts for the blessing of, of fatherhood. Strengthen us by this Holy Eucharist. Inspire us to understand and appreciate a Father's spirit of love and self-denial. Through the incarnation of your Son, you showed us the love a father has for his children and the way to truth, life, and understanding. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and our one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sacrifices offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, and apart from him, nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And he who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten, not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Good morning to you, all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning. Today being Father's Day, uh, a few announcements. During the month of June, our church calls upon all the congregations to consider um, assisting uh, the clergy of our church. 
and today is designated Clergy Pension Day. Not only today, but through the rest of June, we call upon our congregations to consider making a contribution um, to assist clergy who have served for 20 years or more in the church. I did put a little bit of an article that at the recent Eastern Diocesan Council meeting, a $10,000 donation was given by our diocese to the clergy pension fund of the PNCC. You know, after 20 years, I think right now that if you serve for 20 years with unbroken service, you are entitled to a monthly stipend of $600. When you consider $600 nowadays, it doesn't go far. And many of the clergy have not really been able to um, amass any kind of um, uh, income where they can get a halfway decent social security. So I bring this to your minds, my dear brothers and sisters, to consider making a contribution to the clergy pension fund. I bring to mind some of the announcements this week. Um, tomorrow, Monday, it's actually at 7 o'clock, monthly meeting of the parish committee. On Thursday, which is the Solemnity of Corpus Christi, uh, Holy Mass will be offered here in church at 9 o'clock, but at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, I will be traveling to our sister parish, Holy Cross in Ware, where our central seniorate will celebrate as a seniorate of Corpus Christi. Uh, if you can, please see me. We'd love to have representation from our parish at the seniorate, on the seniorate level. I do bring to mind next Sunday is the octave of Corpus Christi, the Body of Christ, Holy Mass at 9 o'clock. Uh, besides a couple of the other announcements, I wanted to share with you that in the back of the church, you will find sponsor, sponsorship letters, not only to our parishioners and friends, but also for our businesses. Um, this was first presented to the committee and with some modifications, um, these are ready to go out. Uh, and also they will be sent out via email. So please take one with you. Please, if you know a business or a couple of the businesses, please help to circulate. Um, is there anything else that I failed to mention? None being brought to the attention. Um, again, I thank you for coming and worshiping in church. May the good Lord be with all of us as we give praise and thanksgiving for every single day of our lives. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed fathers, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.